Hey guys, welcome to issue one of Pop Culture Mythicals. So first I just want to say thank you to everyone who liked and subscribed to the channel so far. I greatly appreciate it and it means a lot and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Today's topic is going to be about Michael Heaton coming back to play Batman one more time in the upcoming Flash movie. Now the Flash movie has been in development for a while now and it's been rumored to be based on the Flashpoint Paradox storyline. If you're not familiar with the Flashpoint Paradox, um, here's a quick uh, summary of it. So Flash runs back in time to save um, his mother from being killed by the reverse Flash, but in doing so, he ends up changing the timeline. Um, whenever he comes back to the present time, he's no longer the Flash. He doesn't have any of his powers. Bruce Wayne's actually the one who died in the alley and his parents survived. Superman was never raised by the Kents and he's actually been uh, abducted by the government and has been in captivity his whole life. Uh, Aquaman and Wonder Woman are at war with each other and are destroying the world in the process. So since it was rumored that they were going to adapt the Flashpoint Paradox storyline, you know, everyone thought that Jeffrey Dean Morgan was going to be the one to play Thomas Wayne in the movie since he played Thomas in the little cameo in Batman vs. V Superman um, and he just looks the part. Uh, if you ever take a look at the Flashpoint Paradox comic book or the animated movie that was made, you can see the resemblance. Um, so he was everyone's top choice. And then it was said that Michael Keenan would be coming back as Batman. So I just kind of, you know, threw a wrench in those plans, but now we know why. It's because he will be playing Bruce Wayne still. So what they're going to do is they're going to ignore Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, and just focus on the two Tim Burton movies that he starred in and connecting those to the current DCEU timeline. So that's 30 plus years, I believe, of his Batman in action. So he's going to be bringing a lot to the table as far as experience and just knowledge overall. You know, so I am curious to see, you know, what what the cycle they're going to do with this. So while it's an adaption of the Flash from, Paralo uh, Flash from Paradox storyline, it's obviously going to be very different to what we know. Um, I think they're going to go more about a route of a multiverse ID instead of a timeline change. Um, you know, who's to say that this um, Batman isn't from another universe and... Let's say he's, you know, since he's been Batman for 30 years, I'm guessing he will know about the multiverse and maybe he's kept an eye on it. And he notices a change whenever Flash does something to to the timeline or to the multiverse. And, you know, he notices the change and he goes and does something about it. And something keeps him in that universe, you know, and that way that makes him take up a mentor mentor like role not only to the flash but to other characters. You know, they're working on a solid background movie. He more than likely will appear on that. Um, they're they've been working on a Nightwing movie as well. You can have a movie with Batman but not be about Batman. Um, so because like every of those characters they serve their own movies and they all have their own storylines and their own uh, character growth that I'm sure people will love to see. So that is something I'm excited for. And, you know, who's not excited to see Michael Caine suit up again? Um, I am curious to see what type of suit they're going to give him. Well, this is a Batman that has age. You know, he is up in the uh, up in the age. So I'm curious to see how they're going to address that. Um, from what I read, it's not he's not going to have a old Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond role. Like, he's not just going to stand behind the computer and tell him what to do. He's going to have an actual, you know, presence as the Batman. Flashpoint is definitely one of my favorite Flash storylines, so I am very excited to see this. Um, even though it's not going to be a direct adaption to it, I think it is a nice twist. It is a nice way to get uh, maybe some audience that... Um, you know, they lost touch with the newer movies and it gives them something that they're familiar to. Um, you know, nice nostalgia hit. I'm sure that will help the black off, uh, box office as well. So that would be nice. But I think overall, it was a good choice to um, get Michael Keaton back. And But, you know, if 
they ever want to revisit this again, I highly suggest Jeffrey Dean Morgan to play Thomas Wayne. And then just the last thing, you know, does this mean that we might see Michael Keaton appearing to Robert Pattinson? You know, it's very easy to put a little cameo at the end of the movie. Maybe he's been watching him from afar or, you know, that he's been watching him through the multiverse. Um, just something like that. Or maybe Michael Keaton is Thomas Wayne. You know, another version of uh, Michael Keaton is Thomas Wayne in the Robert Pattinson movies. I think if their goal is to kind of combine all their movies together and have something different from Marvel, is they need to stop making them standalone. You know, while the standalone movies are great, you know, they have such an easy fix to connect them without necessarily connecting them. And that is the multiverse. Just have something small to connect them here and there. Just to show that, well, yes, they're in the same cinematic universe. They're not necessarily in the same universe and within the story. And that's where we're going to end it today. I'm really looking forward to seeing any more news about this. And just, well, what more we be able to learn. And an official day when uh, the Flash movie will come out. Feel free to drop on the comments if there's any topics you would like me to talk about. If you have any questions about anything, you can reach out to me and we can have a chat about anything you want. Or if you even want to, you know, be a part of one of these videos, we can have a conversation about any topic that you would like. Um, yeah. So thank you. See you guys next time.